Hey everybody, what's up again? Jamis Miles here. I want to do my second model review today. Today I've brought, personally purchased from the airplane shop, is the, the Kuwaiti Airways Boeing 777-200ER. Exact same plane type as the Japan Airlines 777. Uh, although this is of the Hogan brand, a plastic model company. I've only done one model by them once before. It was of the Saudi Arabian 747-400. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this model review. I figure I put it on the stand instead of put it, you know, usually I keep it on the gear, but... I figure I'd try something a little different this time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this model review. So right there would be the radome, cockpit windows. We have the one born to it, Al Karain. The ITAT -T symbol right there. L1 boarding door. I believe this is their first class or business class section. I don't know too much about Kuwaiti Airways. Um, uh, not much at all. Uh, we have the uh, leading edge position lamps. Uh, these are the lights that light up the front of a wing, usually at night or for ice buildup. Check that out. We have uh, the L2 boarding door. I believe that says Kuwait Airways in Arabic. We have the inboard landing light. Uh, same engine as before. These are the General Electric DE90. These are how they're supposed to look. Uh, how they should look, anyway. Uh, we have the leading edge of the wing, green navigation lamp, the strobe, the repossession lamp, flaps, uh, spoilers, speed brakes, L3 boarding door right there. Well, technically, it's not much of a boarding door, but more of an escape door. KuwaitAirways.com, Boeing 777-200, it should say ER, but... Uh, the registration is 9K-AOA or 9Kilo-Alpha Oscar Alpha. We have the Kuwaiti tail. I believe that's a bird of some sort. I, I don't know exactly anything about this airline, so if you guys happen to know anything, please let me know. Take a look in the front. Front cockpit windows. The beautiful GE90 engines. And believe me, when I say they're beautiful, they're beautiful. On the other side. Uh, this model does come with gear. It's just too lazy to put it on. That's why I have it on the stand. We have the front bulkpin door for cargo. Coming across, we have the right green navigation light on this side. Rear bulkpin and cargo compartment. Now the the small doors for cargo, not cargo, uh, baggage. Big ones for rear cargo. Same on the tail. Quite airways. The same thing here. We have the uh, auxiliary power unit. Top one would be the strobe. Bottom would be the rear position lamp. Triple sevens have three of them. Two on each wingtip and the one at the tail. We have the horizontal stabilizers. We have the vertical stabilizer. I know it's just a design cow for the APU, but hey, it's not bad. Um, I'm going to take this model off. Stand. See if I can do it with one hand. Hold on. Sorry guys, it's the bottom, the APU doors would normally be there, there's the baggage door, cargo door, there's the stand hole, there'd usually be a collision beacon right about here, it says Hogan, more front landing gear door, like I said I was too lazy to put the gear on, set the gear down, this is the stand, Now, just for comparison, I happen to have the Gemini Jet stand, so you can see both of them together in their old glory. That's the one from Japan Airlines, that's the Kuwait. Pretty much the same thing, uh, although for some reason I feel safer more with the plastic one, but that's just me. I figured I'd show you both of them. Let's see if we can get this bad boy back on. I'm going to leave it off. Hold it with my hand. Yeah, sorry about that. If I had the gear on, it would have been so much easier, but... Yeah, this model's very lovely. I'll set it down right here. Uh, recommend this one. Uh, it was on sale in the airplane shop. It was only about 24 bucks. That's the reason I purchased it, and... I really like it. Considering it's a Hogan, it doesn't have as much, like, detail as, like, a Gemini JC or even an in-flight would, but I think in some areas it may be slightly better. It, it depends on the perspective of the buyer, um, whoever collects it. Me personally, I love the 777-200ER. 
Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this model review. Um, I should have put the gear on, but eh, whatever. Um, my next video I'm going to post up, I'm going to do a comparison between the JC Gemini mold and the Hogan mold. So I hope you guys are prepared for that video. Anyway, guys, leave a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to give it to them. You guys have a wonderful night, and stay safe. Oh, happy Halloween.